In today's video, I am going to be breaking down David Coadio and, of course, how he plays defense. Defense is a very important aspect of his game as well as the game of basketball. And if you want to become a better defender in basketball, this is definitely going to be the video where you're going to learn a lot of different tips and tricks to how you can get more blocks and more steals. So let's get down. Let's check out David. So this first one is actually quite easy. Obviously, this is a block, but if we actually look really closely, David was able to time the steps of that player. He had to do a Euro step around Yusuf. If it wasn't for Yusuf, this would have probably not been a block. So thankfully, Yusuf ran in front of that offensive player, forced him to do a Euro step, which allowed David to be able to time those steps. And then David was able to go up and block that shot. So by timing steps, that will allow you to be able to get more blocks. Now in this next clip, David gets a steal and he's able to go all the way down to the other end for an easy layup. Now, first off, defense to offense is extremely important, but how he got the steal, they are running a zone it looked like in this point of the game. And if I remember correctly, they were running a zone and he had his hands up. Anytime you have your hands up in the passing lanes, it's a lot easier to get steals. And I know there's a lot of players who play zone with their hands down, never do that. Have your hands up in passing lanes and you just may be able to just take a quick hop and get a steal and go all the way down to the other end for an easy layup as David did here. Now in this clip, the offensive team, they did a skip pass over to the other side of the court. This is a big no-no. Nobody should ever do a skip pass across the court. And David makes him pay in this case, in this clip. So basically, you always want to be a bit risky when you're on defense, especially when the other team makes a mistake. If they do a skip pass, you have to try and intercept that pass no matter what. Never let that pass go through. Always try to intercept. If you miss the interception, you still have four players back in the way of that offensive player. So that will just allow you to be able to recover and then be back on five on five. So any skip passes, be risky, try to intercept it. This is just a quick tip. Get defensive rebounds if you want to be valuable to your team. Get offensive and defensive rebounds. Board man gets paid, but... Seriously, defensive rebounds, if you can try to aim to get between 6 and 10 of those a game as a guard or as a forward, you are doing extremely well and you are going to be very valuable to your team. So definitely try to fight for every single defensive rebound. You don't want the other team to have second chance points. Those really suck. This is actually a very important point right here, and that is when David gets the block in this clip, he doesn't bring his blocking hand down. He kept it high after the block. He didn't bring it down. This is because if he was to bring that arm down, it will look like a foul to the referee. So after you get a block, don't go and continue to try and swipe at that ball. It's going to look like a foul, whether it's a foul or not. So by keeping that arm up straight after the foul, while you may not get the biggest block of the day, you will not get a foul, which will make your coach extremely happy. And of course, if you're a player who plays strong defense, that will keep you out of foul trouble. Now, this next block is very similar to the first block that we've seen. However, the same idea went here. He was still timed the steps. And one thing I didn't mention in the first block was he jumped in front of the player while the player was still going in that direction. He was able to beat that man to the spot, jumped up, blocked the shot in front of him, and then continued through so that it was not a foul. Great job, David, in this clip especially. Now in this clip, while David didn't get the block or the steal or really anything else, he actually didn't even get a stat. Technically, he could have got a defensive rebound stat on this one. But um, the reason why this was important is because he stayed there, hands straight up, which allowed his teammate to come over and block the shot. If it wasn't for David in this clip, that player might have been able to get that shot off without getting blocked. But by David being there, having his hands straight up, that slowed down that offensive player, which allowed his teammate to come and block that player's shot. I hope that these tips and these clips help you become a better defender in the game of basketball. Remember, 
the whole idea behind playing defense is to be as aggressive as you can without fouling, trying to get as many rebounds as possible, and of course, trying to find every advantage possible, like timing steps, to be able to block shots. I hope that this video has helped you. Hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out my vertical jump training book that is down in the description below.